During the past 35 years at SCAD, I've had the privilege of meeting some of the world's most distinguished artists and designers. Now it's my honor to introduce some of them to you. You make women feel beautiful and your clothes are absolutely sensational. Thank you very much. To me, I've always been motivated by the idea of um, intelligence and style going hand in hand. It probably has a lot to do with the fact that I, know I came from a family where with a single mother and you know she was very strong herself and mm -hmm. but never compromised on style you know and um, I also understood early on the power of style like when I saw her transformation from day to evening you know. Do you so think there's a ritual in that in I getting so. in getting dressed? The advantage the greatest advantage that women have over men the process that you you know a woman um, takes to get ready because I think that time whether it's five minutes which is never five minutes you know <laughs> as we all know uh, to like let's say half an hour to an hour right that's a quiet moment for yourself as frantic as frenzied as you know crazy as it might be I think it's one moment totally to yourself to really talk to yourself and say like, okay, this is how I'm going to feel today. While I'm putting on my makeup, while I'm putting on my dress, while I'm putting on this jewelry, this is how I'm going to feel. This is how, what I'm going to feel and reflect and you know, walk in with that energy into this room. Do you think that getting dressed is a meditation time or do you practice meditation? I do actually, you do? I do. Um, I started doing uh, transcendental meditation. <laughs> my mom does meditation, has been doing it for years now. And, um, and I think it's extremely important to find a time or a moment, even if it's like 20 minutes, where uh, whether it's while getting ready or while, you know, whatever it is, because it sets your energy and your energy affects others. It does. You know, and, and I'm a firm believer in that. And you've dressed women of such prominence mm -hmm. in State Department mm -hmm. dinners, the red mm -hmm. carpet, um, and also you uh, appeal so strongly to our students. Mm -hmm. um, how do you manage to appeal to such a, a wide range? The world has changed completely from what it used to be. And I still remember um, when I was in school, like, you know, or I would look at those, you know, Valentino's pictures in Vogue oh. or <laughs> Vanity Fair <laughs> yes. with the, in, in a yacht with mm -hmm. all the stuff. And it used to be like an, a, such an aspirational thing, you know, and, um, and felt so like not, a, you know, attainable. Mm -hmm. You know, now I look at it and I'm like, you know, like I'm kind of you know, in that world, yes. you know, and I was like, you know, I never want it to be that unattainable for anyone. I said to myself, you know, as a designer, if I can make the complicated, complex life of women somewhat easier, you know, consider a job well done. You've done it, you've done it. Well, thank you for saying that. You know, I've always wanted to make a living out of what I love. <laughs> 